Your Ira is growing fast. Fast, but not big. A little rabbit, that one. Small and quick beats big and slow. I'll start taking her on raids soon. Would you please? It would give me a break. Good, Mondur. It appears your ship is like one of Holger's stories. Never quite finished. <laughs> Get me some decent wood and I can finish it in a week. But Styrbjorn won't gift me any. There was a little plunder at Avalsnes, but if I come across any, it'll be yours. <gasps> well, well. The Feeder of Ravens returns. And not half dead. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about. Except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king, he is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. We killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor, just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. They have aldri fainted me in. Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow. That could work. Hello, Eivor. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor. <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You told me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> in flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. 
If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I will make a fine goblet from out of your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to... ...remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I look forward to becoming far more than you can bear. A good rhyme, but a bad structure. Close, you're close. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn, if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. Sven, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at? Let me have a look. Go ahead. Good. Need anything else? See you later, Sven. Sure. Eivor, wolf kissed. Welcome back. Garner, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? Do you need anything else? That is all for now. Return any time. I have not had the wind all day. A... Oh, Orlock. I know this game well. Sit, sit. The dice won't roll themselves. Let's do this then. All right then. Let us begin. Come here now, Finner.
You win. Are you going to walk away now with your head hung in defeat? Let us play again. I've had enough of this. Gaktus is a lady. I can fetch this if you want. Nothing more? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. The war that came after echoes through the nine worlds still. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? The war that came after echoes through the nine worlds still. Midgarda would drown in the blood spell, and their head would hide the sun. So slow. for you. my lifeblood that was well drunk well done well drunk done is there no one who will go around with me come and drink let us amuse the gods all right tekla i'll out drink you Come and drink! Let us amuse the gods! 